All right, so for this midweek lesson, I wanted to do a John Prine finger style thing. I've been listening to a lot of John Prine. I was really sad when he passed away last year. And I'm a big fan of the way that he would play uh, doing his finger style thing when he's playing a slow song. He'll do this kind of thing. Now, this is not a John Prine song, but I just came up with this little melody line to do something in sort of in his honor. And it's a very simple thing what we're playing here is three chords. It's going to be a G chord, a C, and a D. And there's a melody that runs through it that goes like this. That's down to the C. And then it goes to the D chord and it goes... All the way back to the G. And all this is... It's just walking down the major scale, but we're working in obviously the finger style thing. So that's the melody. It's very simple uh, melody line. The the finger the real driver in this is the thumb. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this G chord is get your thumb going like this. It's on six, string six and four. And what I'm doing there to make the chord, I'm actually just using two fingers. I've got one on the first string and one on the sixth string. They're both on the third fret there. I'm not even playing this B note that we would normally play because I need my index finger to hit this note. So here's what I'm doing. We're starting with both strings one and two at the same time with your right hand. And by the way, we're going to be using three fingers for this. Thumb, index finger, middle finger. Just three fingers. So we're going to start with thumb and middle finger, strings one and six. And then we're going to go to the third string and then th thumb on the fourth string. So it's like that. That's the first thing that happens. Just practice this. Keep the thumb going. Try and get that going. Now, if you've never done finger style like this, it's a little bit of a challenge at first. It's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, but you can do this. So after we have that, I'm going to go ahead and switch and put my index finger to that second fret there. Sixth string, index finger on the third string, thumb on the fourth string. So it's like this. And that's the cadence of this whole song. Now we're going to remove the index finger and then put my ring finger now on the third fret second string. So all together, that first part over the G goes like this. And again, just practice doing that over and over again, trying to get that thumb going. That's the driver. So for the G chord, that's how John Prine does his G. Sometimes people will go like this uh, for the G chord, but in, in this case, you need all your fingers to be able to make that melody line. Now when we come to the C chord, it changes up a little bit because the bass line goes like this. So instead of just going like this, like we did with the G, we're going to play the fifth string, fourth string, and then drop my ring finger to the sixth string, third fret, back to the fourth string. So this is just a C chord that I'm making, but I'm playing five, four, six, four. So start by just getting that down. So once you have that groove down, you're gonna play it like this. And so what I'm doing there, I'm playing a C chord, I'm playing middle finger on the second string, thumb on the fifth string. And then we go thumb to the fourth, index finger in the third. So we have this. Ring finger drops down to the sixth string here on the third fret. Index finger back to the third string. And then thumb back to the fourth string. I know it seems crazy, but I'm telling you, once you get the groove going with your right hand. Let me do it slowly. So putting those two parts together, we have... And then I went like this. So just to keep the melody line, I hit strings one and five using my middle finger and thumb. And then just followed through with the thumb line. So the, the whole C part goes. Okay, now let's move on to the D. 
for that, we're going to play a D chord like we normally would. We're going to play thumb on the fourth string, middle finger on the first string. And by the way, the thumb bass line goes like this. So it's four, three, five, three. So we're going to play. So with that, it's fourth string and first string at the same time. Index finger on the second string, thumb on the third string. So we have. And then lift your middle finger on your left hand and play. So it's open one string, thumb on the fifth string, second string, third string. So all together that D part goes. Now you might just practice that just to get that comfortable. It's a really great way to play a D if you're ever playing finger stuff. Now here's a classic John Prine thing where I'm, I want to keep the melody line going down. But in order to do that, I have to switch the bass part. So I have to bring my thumb over the second fret, sixth string. So I can play it like this. So I'm using my thumb to hit that second fret, sixth string. And I'm at the same time, I'm going to hit the second string. There's the uh, third string. And then the thumb goes down on the open fourth string, which is your D note. And then these two fingers switch and go into that D7 shape. So middle finger is on the second fret third string, index fingers on the uh, first fret second string. And I played it like that. So that's string number two, six, three, four. So you can see what happens when you switch to this mode. Your thumb is just going six, four, six, four. So for the whole D part you have. We go back to the G. And what I did for the G is I just put one finger down, sixth fret, or sorry, third fret, sixth string. Played strings two and six. And the thumb now will go back and forth between the sixth string and the fourth string, like this. So the line goes like this. Let me do that one more time slowly. Then we go to the D for the turnaround, and I played it like this. I'm playing strings three and six first, and then the thumb goes down the open fourth string. And that's the whole thing. So from the beginning, if I play through it slowly, we have this. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that and gives you something fun to work on. Come back Friday for a new lesson.